hello students today we will talk about another question of development uh, in the previous video i have talked about the development of the cylinder so today i will talk about the development of truncated cylinder so in order to understand this problem you first have to watch the development of a full cylinder that means the previous video uploaded by me now let us understand this particular question now what he says in this question uh, a cylinder of dia 40 mm and height 50 mm is resting on its base it is cut by a cutting plane inclined at 45 degree to horizontal and it bisects the axis of cylinder develop lateral surface of truncated cylinder so the meaning of this is that uh, we have a cylinder let us say this is the axis of the cylinder and we have uh, divided the top face of the cylinder into eight equal parts and these are the generators on the surface of cylinder eight generators three at the back side now what he is saying that uh, a cylinder is cut by a cutting plane inclined at 45 degree to horizontal and uh, it bisects the axis of cylinder so axis of the cylinder starts from the top face and the uh, ends to the bottom face of the uh, cylinder so this axis height is given to us as 50 so he says cutting plane bisects the axis so that means if the height of the axis is 50 so bisection means half that means at 25 mm so for at uh, this particular point the uh, from this particular point we have to cut the cylinder with the help of a cutting plane so this is the cutting plane so cutting plane cuts the cylinder in such a way that it bisects the axis of the cylinder and this cutting plane is inclined at 45 degrees to horizontal so now when we will remove this upper portion of the cylinder we will left with this solid at the bottom so this will be called as truncated cylinder so we have to do the development of this particular uh, solid in this particular problem <coughs> so what is the first step the first step is you have to draw the development of full cylinder first means you have to watch the previous video first so you have to draw the development of full cylinder so but what will be the uh, change in this particular question that we will keep front view of the cylinder and the development of the cylinder very very thin because these two this front view and this development is for full cylinder so we have to convert these two for truncated cylinder so first step is draw the development of full cylinder first but keep front view and development of full cylinder thin because we have to convert these two into truncated cylinder it means what we have learned that if we have to solve the problem of any truncated solid then first of all you have to draw the development of full solid keep front view and development of that solid thin then convert front view and development to truncated development so i hope uh, you have watched the previous video related to development of cylinder and uh, up to this particular uh, step uh, uh, you have no doubt so let us convert this solution into this particular answer that is truncated cylinder now what we have to do next we have to introduce a cutting plane so what is the position of cutting plane mentioned inclined at 45 degree to horizontal and it bisects the axis so let us show that cutting plane in the front view so this is the axis this is from this point to this point it is 50 so let us bisect it that means at 25 mm i will mark a point so at 25 mm mark a point now at this particular point draw a small horizontal line because we have to put a protector and for protector we need a baseline so this is small line thin line on that line put your protector and draw 45 degree angle so 45 is here now join these points with a very thin line the center the bisection point and that point marked 45 degree draw a thin line uh, or i should say convert that thin line into cutting plane line so how we draw cutting plane line it is a chain thin line thick at ends of either 10 ratio 1 or 6 ratio 1 i hope you all are aware about cutting plane line we have learned this line in the previous uh, chapters so we have drawn cutting plane line the starting point of the line and the last dash of the line is outside the front view 
and uh, it is 10 mm 1 mm gap 1 mm short dash 1 mm gap 10 mm or you can use 6 ratio 1 as well now after this what we will do we will make the lower portion of the cylinder thick so this is our final front so we are saying that this thin portion of the cylinder is removed and we are left with only this particular solid which is shown thick now we have to do the development of this particular solid so what is the next step next step is let me make a little thick so that it should be visible in the video now we have to name the points or the intersections obtained between cutting plane and these generators fine so this is the first intersection let me uh, make these points bold for your understanding so these points we have to name so how to name these points it is very easy now this point is on generator 1 so let us call this as 1 this point is on 8 and 2 so label same points here 8 in bracket 2 this point is on 7 and 3 so label 7 in bracket 3 so this is 6 in bracket 4 and next is 5 now in order to solve this problem we have to apply parallel line method so what we do in parallel line method from these intersections draw thin lines parallel to each other and to the xy line on to the development remember these lines must be very very thin and scale should be parallel to the xy line okay now we will get so many intersections over here so we have to name these intersections how to name now choose the first projector this projector comes from generator 1 so when this projector intersects first generator over here so label this point as 1 now same projector intersects another generator over here which is also labeled as 1 so call this point also 1 then pick the second generator uh, second projector second projector carries two points 8 and 2 now this projector when it will intersect second generator called at point as 2 same projector has second point which is named as 8 so when the same projector intersects eighth generator this point so call that point as 8 similarly pick the third projector it carries two points 7 and 3 when this projector intersects seventh generator this generator so this one seventh call this as seven when same projector intersects third generator so call this as point number three similarly this will be called as point number four same projector intersects sixth generator call it as six and the last projector comes from point number five so when it intersects fifth generator called it point five now we have to join these points with the freehand curve so we have to draw a freehand curve but remember we have to maintain the slope of the curve so what you should do you should join these points with the thin line first dash line so that uh, our final answer should be correct without any errors so you see i have joined these points freehand with the thin line first i have made path so once you are sure that curve is smooth and slope is followed then make this curve thick in a single stroke do not shade do not uh, use double stroke just make it thick in a single stroke so make uh, this part of the development and this part of the development thick now you see we are ready with our final answer so the bottom part of course will be thick so what we are trying to say that if you want to make a truncated cylinder for this particular data then you need a sheet of 125.6 by 50 then on that sheet draw this development and we have kept this portion and this portion thin why because we are saying that cut that particular rectangular sheet along this curve remove this thin portion of the sheet then we will left with only this particular surface and when you will fold this surface you will get a truncated cylinder uh, given in this particular question
so i hope uh, the procedure is clear to you but uh, in this case uh, there is, there are two more dimensions we have to add the first dimension is over here that we have to show the angle of the cutting plane so that you can place here that uh, angle of the cutting plane with the horizontal is given in the question as 45 degrees and uh, we have to show the position of the cutting plane so from this particular point take thin extension line towards this side and place another dimension over here which will tell us that this cutting plane is passing through the center of the from the middle of the center line because it bisects the solid so that is 25 mm so these two more dimensions you have to place in this particular answer so i hope uh, this particular is procedure is clear to you. Thank you very much.